Has this ever happened to you? Yes, yes, this is the time I'm finally gonna beat this crazy game. All right, let's go, let's go. All right, no problem, let's go. Wahoo, oh, what? No. No, 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 no. There's gotta be a better way. There is. Here we have a character, and as you guys know, in 2D platformers, they tend to go off-axis. This pretty much fixes it really quickly without the need to put mini nodons or go through a lot of difficulty. Now, the main problem with this one is that when you stop your character, he kind of looks in a weird direction. And then there's also some shake to it as well, like the game is constantly trying to fix something and it's just kind of unnatural looking. This is a great fix for you guys who are just looking for a quick and easy fix. So we'll do this first and then I'll show you guys the advanced method, which makes your game look buttery smooth and also on axis. When I say easy method, I mean just ridiculously easy. All you need to do is go into sensors. We're going to have a location sensor and hook it up to your player. Then go into middle, convert, and inversion. And we're going to put this z-axis into the inversion. And then plug this inversion back into the person's forward and backward. And this will basically say if you go somewhere z, it's going to go back and do the negative amount back onto the axis. Let's check it out. That was a simple method. If that's all you wanted for your games, then make sure to leave a like and comment down below and subscribe for more awesome stuff. But if you want the really cool advanced method, stick around for a few minutes and we'll show you guys how to do that. The advanced Z-axis drift fix is so amazing. So I'm gonna move him down and you'll see he naturally moves back no matter which direction we go, but only when we're moving. So if I move him down right here, and we don't move left or right, then he'll stay there and he'll move back only when we move in one direction or the other. It really doesn't matter which direction, which is super awesome. Just like the easy fix, we're going to call up a location sensor and we're going to attach it to our person here. I'm going to make it a little bigger to make it easier to work with. Now we're going to need some parameters to tell the game when to correct for itself. And this is where the buttery smoothness comes in. We're going to have some comparisons and I'm going to call up a greater than and I'm going to copy this one and move it up here give yourself some room and I'm going to change this one to the opposite symbol we're going to have two parts here this one's going to tell when you're on one side of the z-axis what to do this one will tell when you're on the other side what to do so we're going to need a constant that we're going to measure against for each of these head into the constant we're going to make this 0 0.05 the positive one is going to go with the greater than symbol then go ahead and copy this, and for the less than, we're going to make this one negative 0.05. To keep things simple, I put both of the constants into the bottom port, and then we're going to put the Z measurement into the top port of each of them. Next, we're going to call up some AND nodons, and we're going to put them just mirror image on both of these here. We'll plug these into one of the AND nodon ports, it doesn't matter which one. In the other port of the AND nodon, we're going to grab a stick movement with the left stick, left and right. This will make sure that the game only corrects when you're moving this stick, which will create the much smoother experience. To complete this sequence, we're going to call up a map nodon, which helps us in pretty much every situation. Connect it up to your AND nodon, and then go into the settings. In the settings, keep it 0 to 1. We're going to make the output range negative 1 to 0, and then also have the reverse function on here. Then go ahead and copy this one, move it down, and connect it to the other side. For the bottom one, we're going to have 0 to 0 0.1, and make sure you change off the mapped and reverse function. If yours looks just like mine, then go ahead and connect both of these up to the character's forward and backward port, just like this. So when we move our character, he's going to move back into the center just like that. And if we don't move him, then he can just stay out there. But this is the best way to do it, and it's not too difficult. It does take a few nodons, so you have to see which one's better for you. Comment down below which one you're going to use, and let me know what games you use these in. If it helped you guys, please leave a like, and also consider subscribing. It really helps out. Until next time, stay on track, and happy platforming.